All right, now to our weather. The National Weather Service just naming the first subtropical storm of the Atlantic hurricane season. Let's get right over to Channel 2 meteorologist Justin Stapleton, who has the very latest on Alberto and its projected path. Yeah, well, thankfully, that projected path does not include southeast Texas, Andy. We're not worried about that. It's right now uh, down towards the Yucatan, just to the east of there. You can see it's got a lot of dry air. It's getting pulled into the center of the storm, so it hasn't necessarily closed off just yet. But we're going to watch it very carefully. As you said, National Hurricane Center is tracking it. We'll have the advisory. I'll show you here in just a second. But you already see on the exact track here, it's starting to get some of the outer parts of the storm itself, not necessarily bands, but a lot of that convection and uh, thunderstorm activity starting to move its way in towards the key in southern Florida. It's going to be a soaker for a good chunk of the holiday weekend forecast for much of the eastern Gulf Coast. Right now, 10 o'clock advisory has the winds at around 40 miles an hour, gusting to 50, moving right now to about north northeast at six miles an hour. And put the track on here through Saturday into Sunday, strengthening to a tropical storm about 60 miles an hour by Sundays. We get into Monday, possibly making a landfall uh, anywhere between uh, the coastline of southern Mississippi down to southern Alabama, possibly even as far west as the extreme sections of Louisiana, maybe even into the panhandle of Florida. Still some variability with that, so we'll watch it as we go through uh, much of the weekend and then eventually working its way inland and kind of raining out as it moves up into the Tennessee Valley by next Monday and Tuesday. So how much rain are we talking with that? You can see the spaghetti plot showing the same thing, pretty much locked into that uh, Alabama Mississippi solution for where that will eventually end up. Speaking of rainfall, that's going to be a big bullseye over into that area as well. Could see upwards of eight, maybe 10 inches of rain. Big soaker for much of the southeast through much of the weekend as well.